The new Hyper Pi 2 is gorgeous and I really like it, but even with the Raspberry Pi 3, it is a little... I'm going to show you what it looks like with stock clock and then overclock. And then I'm also going to finish this video with showing you a little bit of the PC version. And the biggest night and day difference to me will be between the Pi 3 and the uh, high-end PC that I'm running. But let's just go ahead and look at this so you can make a decision and see how it runs for yourself. All right, now we are in a stock clock over here. Let's go ahead and remove the menu there. There we go. All right. So we're in console. Let's go back out. Just want to do a quick, let's get rid of that down. This is a stock clock. So you can see it's still fairly responsive. Let's go to our consoles. And we want to do Super Nintendo. Okay, menu slides up, video snaps play just fine. We go in. And here are games, hard scroll, let go. It's still pretty good. I mean, it's definitely doable. Now let's change the view here, upper right trigger. And now we're in the grid view. Seems to be running just fine. Next one, hit the grid view. And now we're on vertical wheel. Alright, All right, let's go to consoles here. Let's try Super Nintendo Entertainment System. All right, here we are in Super Nintendo. You can scroll through, get to your games. All right, so we have default view first. Okay, let me go right. Then we have this view right here. Which is a grid view. Grid of all the games. Okay, then we hit it again. Then we should have vertical scroll. As you can see here, I can vertically scroll. I'm holding it down hard. You let go of the Blues Brothers, look how pretty, it's pretty reactive there. I mean, that's pretty good. Okay. Then we have the next view, cover flow. Okay. Then we have the next view, which is the horizontal scroll. Very easy as well. Then we have the next view, which is the cartridge scroll. Running good. Then we have the next view, which is vertical scroll. Different type of vertical scroll. Next view, I think it's snazzy coming up. No, cover flow. Look at the boxes. Let's stop at one. Okay, Dino City. And it works. Hit it again. And now we're in snazzy view. A little bit different, as you see with the full screen. Diddy Kong Quest 2. And then we're back in the default view. So there you have it. HyperPi overclocked, checking out the different views and how reactive it is. All right, let's go consoles. And Super Nintendo. And there we go. So just to, just to show you the difference between the PC and the Pi, as you can see, really fast, it fades in, there's no real jump. And if I go up slowly on my controller, let's go ahead and switch the views here. It's a grid view, way more responsive. When you jump across a few, it's pretty easy. Hit it again. Next view. It took a little bit of time. It definitely took a little bit of time. So, but once you're in, it's pretty good. Change the view again. So changing between the views, whether you're on the Pi or the PC, does take time. 
I would say the biggest improvement is once you are in the right screen, like now I'm in the screen, getting between these games is very easy to do. Okay, change the screen again. Now we have the horizontal view at the bottom. Let's see if we go up another letter. Okay, down to F1. We better go to F0. Okay, hit it again. Now we're in snazzy view. As you can see, the background has changed quite a bit. It's still boxes, but the background is snazzy. Let's change it again. Now we're on the vertical wheel, but it's a, there's two different vertical wheels. One's with like a little, um, I forget what that is, that little triangle on the right hand side. And then one where it just highlights the whole game. Hit that again. And now we're on the vertical wheel. Okay, this one has a little triangle on it. And it moves. Okay, hit it again. And we're back to default view is where we started. Okay, so let's go back, back to the main menu here. All right, so there you have it. So there you have it, Raspberry Pi stock clock, Raspberry Pi 1.3 gigahertz overclocked. You could probably go up to 1.35, no problem, and see a little bit even more. And then we have my laptop computer, which is pretty high end, 24 gigabytes of RAM, all that good stuff. It's about as good as it's gonna get. So let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.